Hello everyone, how's it going? So today is a monumental time in human history. At finals last, we got the Krabby Patty from Wendy's. I got it right here. And I also got the pineapple frosty thing. But yeah, I remember when I first saw SpongeBob. I loved the show since the beginning, but it went down in quality. You know, it had flanderism eventually take over which is basically characters end up becoming caricatures of themselves for one quality, like with Fland Ned Flanders where the term was coined. But I remember the first time I saw Spongebob, it was at my cousin Buck's house after the uh, Kids' Choice Awards, and it was in one of the best cartoons I ever watched. I watched that show religiously, and eventually it went down in quality, like I said. And back in the day, like we did have some really good cartoon movies, like going into a tangent, like the Spongebob first movie was to me absolutely amazing it's one of those movies you can watch over and over and just have a good time there were a lot of good cartoon movies back then like Powerpuff Girls which doesn't get a lot of credit for its movie like that origin movie was I'm not a fan of origin movies or like prequels but Powerpuff Girls movie is absolutely underrated I recommend if you love those old cartoons you should watch that and of course the other one of my favorite cartoon movies uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, big picture show. It wasn't an official movie, but it was technically the season fina series finale. I like to think of that as the series finale instead of like that infamous snow episode, which was the final episode where they did that snow job joke, which I was just like, hey, suck, I got it. Snow job, but let's get to the Krabby Patty. I've been talking too much about old cartoons, so we have it here. Here is SpongeBob's greatest, or Mr. Krabs' greatest creation. Now, we don't know the origin of the Krabby Patty because it's always mixed up. The first origin is that Mr. Krabs uh, invented the recipe. The other origin is that it's an old Krabs family recipe that his mother also knows the secret recipe other than SpongeBob. And even Squidward knows the recipe because he's made Krabby Patties before. And uh, lastly, the I think the current origin is that him and Plankton came up with it. They used to be friends in school. Mr. Krabs grew up very poor, despite the fact, again, his mother seems to be living quite well, but he could have bought all that stuff, but we saw how cheap Mr. Krabs is. But that was also another origin that him and Plankton came up with the recipe. They had a fallen out, and Mr. Krabs is the one who got to keep the recipe in a way because I've got the spit fix, but yeah. But let's actually eat this thing. And I blue screen, but I'm back and I held the burger until I restarted. But yeah, it's average. It's literally just a Wendy's hamburger. It sucks. I wish they would have done something unique, but uh, it's fun. I mean, it's definitely better than Mr. Beast Burger by a thousand percent. So yeah, it's good. Do I think it's worth the price? Well, I mean, it's a novelty item, so it's going to be a bit expensive. I think I paid $13 for this, around $15 with tax. But, you know, for a novelty item, it's pretty good. I mean, it's like with the Fallout soda with the Jones thing I did. Like, that thing cost me like $25, I think, for four bottles of soda. And even though the soda was good, it was really good tasting peach soda. You know, it is what it is. All right. Let's get to the Frosty. Which is also part of the Spongebob meal. Well, I mean the fries are, but let's try. Okay. Fries too. There they are. They're good. Like, one of these definitely have good fries. I think Burger King has the best fries, but only when they're hot. Like, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people say McDonald's fries are the top. Like, I'd say McDonald's is, like, the most consistent you'll get. But I think Wendy's fries are the best. So, so this is vanilla and pineapple. I generally like the Frosties, but let's do it. Yeah, it's good. Like if you're into fruity vanilla flavor, it's good. Like I wish I can get more of a like show it but it gets covered in the vanilla so well that you can't really see the pineapple but like I said well you get more vanilla than pineapple but you know it's still good 
no complaints about him. So that's the SpongeBob meal. It's okay, a novelty promotional item. I kind of wish they had a themed bag or the wrapper was themed. Now, do you think if they did something this iconic from one of the most beloved cartoons of all time? I mean, I think SpongeBob is the only thing keeping Nickelodeon alive right now. They used to have a treasure trove of IPs, like uh, not just um, SpongeBob. I think Avatar. Like, well, technically Avatar is still going strong. Avatar: The Last Airbender is still beloved. They also had um, Fairly Odd Parents, which I heard the reboot is really good. I haven't watched it yet, but we'll see. But yeah, it's okay. I just wish they kind of went all out with the Krabby Patty stuff, like with the themed bag and stuff like that. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But it's okay. If I were to give it a score, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. But that's it. Bye.